So we're going to tell about the correct spacer technique taken by the child who is above five years and he is around ten years of the age. So take a spacer. You can use any spacer of any company. First, take a spacer, fit it properly. Take a puff, shake the puff properly. Very good. With before using, you should always shake the puff. Now. Uh, put the puff on the spacer connect it to your mouthpiece good put it straight yes there should be no air leak between the mouth and the and the spacer cover yes so your hand should be here in between hand yeah, yeah yes good so they should be it should be put straight on the level of the face it should not be level down or high even in a small child even in a small child don't even in the small child what you can do is that uh, sometimes the spacer position is tilted up higher so that the valves are open and the child can take it properly but in this age group we don't need to do this and the spacer can be fitted in the same level so now how to use it so now the child will take normal two or three breaths aap thoda sa saans lijiye normal pehle beta saans lo normal saans One, two. Now you can pu push the puff. Puff, carry. Now take a deep breath. Very good. And hold for six seconds. And count on your finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then exhale slowly. And then take a deep breath in again. Very good. Then count again. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Exhale. Very good. Again, take a deep breath. Count again. Count on your fingers. Try to tell your child to count again if it's they can do it. If the child is younger than around five or six years, seven years, even if they don't hold for six seconds, it is okay. They can hold it for three seconds. So take another breath. So this way we can take three to four or four to five good breaths. and each time they have to hold for 3 to 6 seconds and the position should be proper exhale that's down yes now take out the spacer now if we have to use another puff then we should take out the puff wait for 30 seconds to 1 minute and do the same procedure that's all and you after any steroidal puff you should rinse your mouth this should be the proper position of the and what about the spacer they should generally be washed give the space yeah like this they should generally be washed once in 15 to 20 days and we should ideally rinse them in the normal tap water or the running water and they should not be dried from between they should be air dried so that whatever is remaining the air, the water content they all uh, evaporates they should not be rubbed from inside why because these spaces have some properties so if we we rub from inside or wipe it down or sterilize like a any other bottles the properties will go off and the uh, material or the puff or the medicine will stick on these spacer so they should be wa washed once in 15 to 20 days with a normal drinking water and air dried thank you